at you, O2 March, third month trading year. Who would have believed it? As we talked about on Twitter, mixed um, mixed news flow. I would I would argue this weekend, um, more cases in Europe, less cases in China. A fair few a fair few commentaries on uh, you know why are we so afraid of the flu combined with also a fair few commentaries that the West is woefully under under prepared for this and the medical system in the US in the UK specifically is not prepared or could not withstand um, some sort of epidemic so uh, I would you know on balance it's negative um, but the hysteria is less so we did open risk off a um, bit of a bang bang couple of currency pairs uh, Kiwi traded down to 80 which is just weird and now as a chartist or as someone who like watches price you know what are you gonna mark the low that was like the the monkey low uh, four guys were trading a bunch of people uh, from Auckland and Sydney decided to stop out um, some people and just jammed it down there what low are you recognizing figure low was the low in real liquidity 90 low was the fix low on Friday which again is monkey time uh, but it's more legit than, than, than last night's low. We're going to use the figure. Um, and we'll attack Kiwi if we see prices back below the figure uh, this week. Which may or may not happen. Uh, to me it looks like we're on a little bit of a turn day here. Um, we'll see. We are not long Kiwi. Uh, we are not trading for this turn. It just looks like the turn. Intuitively, it looks like a turn, um, but quite hard to trade, right? So what are you going to do? You're going to buy Kiwi at 35 here and leave a figure stop. What kind of risk reward are you looking at on this trade? Uh, and the basis of the turn is more intuition um, than real. You know, the trade idea doesn't have chops yet, so. We're just kind of watching here and, 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 and seeing. But 62, the figure now is important in Kiwi. Um, take a look at gold. We talked about buying that between 64 and 74 late Friday. The low happened to be 64, the figure. Now we're at 04. This is a tradable long. Um, there could easily, this bar, even though it was like a mass rush of stop losses, um, is important. I'm going to have some coffee. Hold on. This bar is important. Um, so it's a tradable long, right? Take your take your longs. From down there, you got 30 bucks in the money here. Uh, we do want to be core long. So... If you own 78s or if you own 75s, go ahead and sell uh, half at 05. So that gets you long at 45. Or you could even sell 70% of the position and it makes you long. Um, that's going to make you long around 15 and a quarter. And you can sort of broadly trade around this. Don't spend too much time trading middle of the range. You want to trade at the edge of the ranges. Um, but I don't think this is going to go straight back up is what I'm saying. So let's keep, uh, let's keep an eye on that. Let's look at dollar Turkey just cause it's here. Loads of, uh, crap going on there at the border, uh, with Greece. Um, bunch of Afghans. We've all seen it in the news. It's like a, a mini Calais type camp. Um. It's just a mess, uh, and so Turkey is suffering and is not uh, is not rebounding the way, say, Czar and and Risk has has rebounded a little. Turkey has not. There's just bad news politically in Turkey. So careful of this. 
I mean, we're pre I'm pretty sure this is going to 10. Um, but no dog in this fighting. I suck at trading dollar turkey, so I'll just leave that alone. Um, Euro, after the fix, went back up to 50. Uh, closed at 27. Just annoying how I just have not long this. Uh, we talked about that on Friday as well. 74 the high today, new daily high. I don't think there's any chance in hell we're going to print a new daily low, so it will be a construct another constructive day. Uh, after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and, and whatever, all these green days, expect some consolidation here. This is a range trade today. Um, see how that goes. Dollar cat, on the other hand, big big turn. Holy magoli. So 133.40. 50 was the uh, move up. We had a turn bar Friday. This did not make a new high with the other risk metrics. Uh, and now it is like just cratering. Uh, dollar cat has turned. There will be some support here at 30. Let's call it 20.30. Expect for some sideways action here. But Dollar CAD looks uh, aggressively to have turned, whereas some of the other stuff is more of a softer turn. Dollar CAD is more aggressive. Why is that? Perhaps because oil is at 46.15. We got OPEC this week, um, so there's just a natural squeeze in the oil. Uh, if you bought this at 45.02 on uh, Friday, no fuck, 44.02. No, we bought at 45.02 at the end of the day uh, and did not make money off of that. Um, I feel your pain. We also uh, scratched that trade late Friday. Uh, sort of annoying. Dollar China. You know the uh, Chinese are on top here and now this is coming down even more. Again, this alludes to a turn. Um, Dollar China's lower. Dollar Yen, more turn evidence. We made a new low in the monkey time. Uh, and now we're back at 108.27. You're really in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing to do with this trade, but it's just to point out that just being short Dollar Yen blindly because the world is ending uh, does not look to be the brightest maneuver at this point. Few trade recommendations about Aussie yen. Um, you will see some selling uh, up in this 75, 85 area. One of the big American banks analysts uh, made this call. He wants to sell Aussie yen, so there will be some supply here for the people who follow him. Uh, we do like short Aussie yen, but we would like to wait really 100 points, right? So you really want to try and look at selling this at 71, 75, not 70, 75. Um, this may work, his little idea, but it also may, there may be some pain you have to wear on that. Headline driven that. Cable also, um, during the monkey time, Euro Sterling went up to 86.40. I think cable was down at 127, 60 or 40 or some ridiculous number. This is crawled back. Remember, there'll be resistance at 60. That was the clean break on Friday. Um, and Euro Sterling has broken really key and important levels. Um, 86.05. This has been drawn. This line is like, I don't know, it feels like it's like, two months old um, so euro sterling looks pretty steady uh, on the top side so I'm not sure what to do with it here let's come back a bit we drill down to the hourlies I guess we we saw 97 already once I oh, know 97 was Oh, wow, right, sorry. This broke Friday. I wasn't even paying attention to Euro Sterling. We bought Euro Sterling pretty aggressively through 45 on Friday. 
traded up to 73, but then when we went down to 20 on all those idiotic fix, early fixed moves, uh, we gave up on the idea. It looked broke on Friday. Anyway, Euro Sterling is, is through these uh, important highs. Whether it can manage up here, I don't know. A um, little bit tired of Sterling, so fuck it. Dollars are new high, uh, 83. This is now stretched. We all know what I think about the czar as a currency. Um, looks like we're going to consolidate here. I uh, wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, take a take a uh, trip down to 50 today. Take out some stops below 50 in the czar. Let me just talk about the calendar real quick. Not much to sink your teeth in today so far on this video. We do have ISM manufacturing today in the U.S. Uh, I see the um, U.K. has a no, final manufacturing PMI. Doesn't matter. Um, Canada has manufacturing PMI and we have the German, French, and Italian PMIs but they're final versions, Spanish PMI you got some European stuff um, I would say now if that comes in negative uh, this will this will uh, hurt Euro a little bit in a more of a consolidated type of way um, so as you can see in this video, I said a lot, 11 minutes worth of information, but really not much to say. Uh, we're watching for the most part. We're not diving into anything. We look. It looks like this is a turn day. Um, looks like a lot of these markets are now in consolidation mode. Be patient. Uh, you can fade probably both sides today, so wait for the stretches. And you could probably fade both sides. I don't think this is going to go anywhere real fast unless there's a there's some news bombs that we have to deal with. Uh, so I would say if you're still short risk, think about consolidating that a little bit. Uh, I think that is the correct side, but I also do think you'll get better levels to sell. I've said enough. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Good day trading. Ciao, ciao, ciao.